How's it going everyone? This is Matt Lemire here. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful day. And today my family and I are getting ready to head back to California now. We've had a great time out here in New Jersey and I wanted to get one more vlog encapsulating some of my favorite parts of the Jersey Shore. And yesterday my family and I took a trip to Island Beach State Park. And this is usually where we go to the beach when we're out here on the shore. And this time though, we didn't go by boat. We actually went by car and there's only one way that you can get to Island Beach State Park by car. And it's also the same way that you get to most of the destinations here on the Jersey Shore. And that is the Garden State Parkway. So in today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about the parkway, its history and give you an idea of what it is like. And then we'll head on down to Island Beach State Park. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. The Garden State Parkway was constructed between 1946 and 1957 by the New Jersey Highway Agency to connect the southern Jersey Shore region to the more suburban northern part of the state. It runs northeast from the southernmost tip at Cape May through the Jersey Shore into the Gateway region, where it terminates at the city of Montvale, located on the border with New York State. To this day, along with the New Jersey Turnpike, this parkway in particular is often regarded as one of the busiest toll roads in the United States. And now that we know a little more history, let's take a ride on the Garden State Parkway and make our way out to Island Beach State Park. As we pull onto the parkway heading northbound towards Tom's River, you can really see how New Jersey earned its nickname as you drive through miles of Atlantic coastal pine and cedar trees. This untouched verdant landscape continues as you follow the parkway all the way to the state line. We exit the parkway at exit 82, which takes us east along Route 37 towards Barnegat Bay. After the bridge, we turn south and drive through the boroughs of Seaside Park and Berkeley Township to reach the park's entrance. All right, guys, we've made it to Island Beach State Park. And where we're standing at right now is where I would get off with my grandparents when we would take the boat out from Forked River, which by the way, is across the bay pretty much in that direction. So, ah, there's some flies out here. <laughs> this is it. And this area in particular has been referred to as Ticey Shoal. And we would come out to Ticey Shoal and then dock the boat out here because it's pretty shallow water here. We'd walk on the boardwalk across the main road to the beach on the Atlantic side. It's pretty beautiful here. The sign shows us the trail that we're following, the boardwalk trail, that is. And there's the main road, and I'm standing where it's indicated you are here. And we're going to follow the fisherman's walkway trail out to the Atlantic Ocean. Let's do this. This is the beach that we usually go to, but conditions have changed even just the course of two years. The last time we were out here was 2019 before COVID hit. And now whenever there's no lifeguard on duty, you basically, there's no swimming, no boogie boarding. Can't really do a lot here. There is a surfer out there, but other than that, it's, it's pretty much closed. So we're gonna try to head up the beach and see if we can get into one of the swimming areas up there. America flies on Duncan. These ads are very commonplace here, flying over the beach. 
actually a little bit of change of plan. We've decided to come down a little bit further down the road from the spot where we usually go to hang out at the beach. And you can see the water is still pretty rough here. We got some people surfing and fishing here. But what's awesome is because we're closer to the tip of Island Beach State Park, there's old Barney. So we're really close to the inlet. And it's pretty awesome to see. And you got the you got the bay over here. And then the Atlantic Ocean. All right in this spot. This is awesome. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog covering the Garden State Parkway and Island Beach State Park. Those are two places that are very close to my heart when I come out here on the East Coast and I'm so happy that I finally got to share the experience with you guys. I do want to wrap with one more souvenir that I got from the shore and that is this Garden State Parkway wooden sign that I'm going to be hanging up in my room. It's very beautiful, and I've always liked the Garden State Parkway logo. I do like the twist on this sign, though, is that instead of saying Garden State at the top, it says Jersey Shore, so Jersey Shore Parkway. And I think that's actually a good name for the parkway because it really is your gateway to the Jersey Shore. And I think this is gonna be a very welcome addition to my bedroom and really celebrating the Garden State. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed the past couple of vlogs of capturing everything here on the Jersey Shore in 2021. And as always, to get more content like this, remember to tune in same mat time, same mat channel. Thank you for watching guys. Take care and have a good rest of your day.